Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to rearrange the compound interest equation. Rearrange the compound interest equation. So, what is the compound interest equation? Basically, it is this. A equals P times 1 plus I to the power of N. Now, if you have no idea what all this means, um, you probably should go back to some of my other compound interest videos because this video, we're just going to focus on rearranging them. But before we do that, I'll still give you a brief intro to all of these variables. So A is the final amount P is the initial amount of money that you put in the bank or whatever uh, initial amount. Uh, the reason why it's called P is because it's the principal. Um, I is the rate of interest or interest rate per period. Per period, that's a very important concept because it doesn't matter what period you use, so it could be daily, monthly, yearly, whatever, as long as you use the same period for n. So n is the number of periods. So what that means is if you do a monthly thing for i, then you have to do monthly for n. Okay, so let's give you a question. Let's make it that in this question, so basically in any sort of question, I have to give you three of these and ask you to find the one that I haven't given you. So you need three of these to figure out the other one. So basically I'm gonna give you A is 4,000. So what does that mean? That means in the end, the investment is going to be $4,000. What is the initial investment it's going to be 550 so initially you put 550 in the bank it's going to grow to 4000 4, now i'm going to give you a period okay i'm going to make the period monthly so what that means is as soon as you see monthly that word cross that out change it to month cross out this word change it to months so Let's say we don't know what I is, but I know N is going to be five years. Now, we're not working in years, so I have to cross that out and change that to 12 months times five, which is 60 months. So N is equal to 60, so I want to find I. So what you do now is you put all these numbers into the equation, so 4,000 is A, P is 550, 1 plus I, we don't know what it is, and N is 60. Okay, so now I keep going, so I'm going to divide by 550, so 4,000 divided by 550 equals 1 plus I to the power of 60. Now I have to take the 60th root on both sides to get rid of the power to the 60th power, so to the 60th root, and that will get rid of the to the power of 60. So I have 1 plus i on the right, and then I'm just going to copy this down again. So square root, of, uh, sorry, not square root, 60th root of 4,000 over 550. Now to get rid of the 1 on the right, so I just have i, I have to minus 1 on the left, so 4000 over 550, the 60th root of that, minus 1, and that's what i equals. So let's type all that into the calculator to find out what i equals. So i is going to equal um, 4000 divided by 550. Okay, press equals, and then the 60th root of that, so to the power of 1 over 60, 
Oh, to the power of. Oh, to the power of bracket one over sixty. Right to the power of one over sixty is the same as taking the sixtieth root, um, and then press equals and then minus one. So the answer is zero point zero three three six. Um, so that's what i is. i equals zero point zero three three six. i equals zero point zero. 336. So that is the interest rate per month. Okay, so that's the answer. In order for the for the uh, investment to start at 550 and grow to 4000, it needs to increase at a rate of interest of 0.336 per month. Or if you want it in terms of per annum, so PA, you would times this by 12 and you will get times that by 12 and you will get 0 0.403. So 0 0.403. Now these are all in decimals. So if you want to express it as a percentage, you need to multiply it by 100. So this will be 3.4% uh, one decimal place per month. Or 40.3% per annum. So PA, I'm just going to write PA per annum. Okay, so hopefully you understand that. Now I'm going to give you another one. So let's go A equals P bracket 1 plus I to the power of N. Let's make P um, 3. Let's make A 1 million. Let's make P 300,000. Let's make I um, 11.5% per annum. Uh, let's make N unknown. But let's make the period uh, monthly again. So period is monthly. So what does that mean? That means I want to work in months, but the interest rate is given to me in years. So then what I've got to do is divide that by 12. So I will get, well, firstly, let's make it 0 0.115 p per annum because I don't want the percentage sign. Uh, I'd need to convert it to a decimal. And then if I divide that by 12, put that in the calculator. So 0 0.115 divided by 12, I get 0 0.00958. A. So 0.0958 uh, per month. Okay, but um, before you actually, you can just put divided by 12 here if you want. So I'm just going to rub all that out. Because, uh, yeah, before you. Before you get the final answer, it's better not to round. So divided by 12 monthly. OK, so now let's put all this into the equation. So A, uh, sorry, A is 1 million. So let's go 1 million equals 300,000 times 1 plus 0 0.115 to divided by 12 to the power of n. It's divided by 300,000 on both sides. Um, so that equals 1 plus 0 0.115 divided by 12. Oops. 1 plus 0 0.115 divided by 12. 
together to the power of n. Okay, so now we can figure this one out. So cross out the zeros, cross out the zeros like that. So we divide it by, what is it? Um, 100,000 on both top and the bottom. So it's 10 over 3 equals all that. And now we're going to log both sides. So let's log both sides um, to over 12 to the power of n. And now let's move this n to the front. So n log 1 plus 0 0.115 divided by 12 equals log of 10 over 3. And now n is equal to what's on the left divided by this because right now I have n times that so n divided by that um, 0 0.115 divided by 12 um, so n is equal to let's type all that in so I have log of 10 over 3 Um, divided by log of oh, keep putting another bracket 1 plus 0 0.115 divided by 12 so if I put all that in in would be 126.23 126.23 months okay and now if they want you to answer in years you would simply divide that by 12 so if you divide that by 12 you will get 10.51 years 10.51 years actually it's 10.52 because I need to round it up 2dp because it was 10.519 or something so round it up okay that's the answer guys thanks for watching see you next time